Michel Durard de Vilmer, born 1811 in Canada East. He had nine siblings. He married Angèle Terrien, born 1817 in Saint Anne de Plaine, Quebec. She was six years his junior. Together, they would have 12 children. According to census, Michel was a farmer and later in life a rentier. He cannot read or write and lives in a one-story log house at the time of the census. It's 1812. Michel is baptized in Bascouche, Quebec, perhaps indicating a more specific and likely birthplace that Canada East listed in the records. It's 1815. Michel's two-month-old brother, Jean-Baptiste, dies. Three years later, his six-month-old brother, Joseph, passes away. Michel is seven years old. It's 1820, the year of the Missouri Compromise. Missouri was admitted as a slave state, but slavery was barred in the rest of the Louisiana Purchase. That same year, Harriet Tubman is born. Although abolished in other countries, slavery still spoiled the soil of the United States. Harriet Tubman, a former slave, would later risk her life to help free other slaves along the Underground Railroad into Canada. It's 1822. His 17-year-old sister, Marguerite, passes away. Michel is 11. It's 1836. His father passes away. Michel is 25. Three years later, he buries Angel Terrier. Nearly a year later, Michel's first child, Pierre, is born. By 1849, five more children follow. However, Marie de Liba dies the same year that the most recent baby joins the family. She was only two years old. It's 1859. Charles Darwin publishes On the Origin of Species, sharing his theory of evolution and survival of the fittest with the world. Amongst other facts it shared, it proved we all share a common primate ancestor long ago. Some people refused to believe we were related to monkeys. Perhaps part of this relates to how some people believe they were somehow superior to other humans. For example, at the time, some refused to believe whites were the same as blacks. Others refused to believe the simple idea that we all were animals. Although controversial at the time, Darwin's writing influenced the generations that followed, shaping science and society in the process. Like many conflicts before, religious power asserted itself. However, unlike the past, the 19th century public was much more literate, educated, and open-minded than the average citizen centuries before the printing press and the sharing of ideas became even easier for the common person. Although there were challenges, Charles Darwin's incredible research inspired us all to better understand the curious machinations of life and better understand our place in the universe. Importantly, helping us realize that we have much more in common than some others would have us believe. Slavery would officially end in America six years later. It's 1864. Up to and including this year, five more children are born to Michel and Angel. It's 1873. His mother 
passes away at age 88. Michel is 62. From 1881 to 1891, it is a decade of personal tragedy. Michel loses a brother, two daughters, a son, and his wife, who passes away at age 74. Was this just a cruel streak of fate, or was illness to blame? Perhaps one of history's lethal pandemics was unleashed during this time. Five years later, Michel Durard de Villemer passes away in Hall, Quebec, at age 85. 